Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video and today I am here again uh, with the uh, slot machine and uh, some of you may have seen my uh, teaser video and yes most uh, quite a lot of you guessed correctly that it is a uh, slot machine and well yeah I'll just uh, show you it and then I'll take you behind the scenes so yeah basically the aim of the uh, game is to get uh, the same valuable block in each of the uh, squares so that's either straight gold or straight diamonds now um, to play all you do is hit this uh, reset button here and then you just try and get it on and you just step onto the pressure plate when you um, think that the uh, block you want is going to appear now currently I actually think it's harder to get the gold than the diamond um, but we'll just see we'll try and get the diamonds here so there is a bit of a delay so you have to go just on the block before which is why it's slightly harder to get the uh, gold because you can't see it whereas you can see the diamond through the glass so there we go we've got straight diamonds and if we come over here the light is turned on for diamonds now this could be used uh, to power a dispenser or um, add to a score or such like now how it works um, okay so the basic the main component of this is the belt um, now this is all done with uh, timings and these timings are well um, if I just kind of open this up for you you'll see that the top row is delayed by um, three yeah on the third uh, stage of the repeater and then that powers that one powers the across one and then the up one is a further um, well if that's a one then that's a two and then the uh, top one that affects all of them so the top one is um, this one is just one tick behind and this one is a further two ticks behind I think I think that counts as one tick and that counts as another tick uh, of course this schematic is available in the description and so if you want to take a look at this and figure it out for yourself um, go look at that now or when you finish watching the video even um, okay so uh, that's the basic belt going around and so right when a player steps onto the pressure plate what it does is it sends a signal oops uh, down this hole here now that hole there goes over here to this wire here now this wire here uh, changes around this RS notch which you can see here uh, which then comes up here, up here, up here, here, powering that light. Now that light there powers here. And this is a signal coming from the clock. Now, if that torch underneath this wire is on, then no matter what the clock does, this wire will, rem ru ah, this wire will remain on, and therefore stopping the uh, belt working. Now, as well as sending a signal up there to stop uh, the belt continuing on the uh, RS Norlatch also switches around the signal and what you see down here is basically a AND gate now uh, the way this works is the fact that all of these lights have to be all of these torches have to be off for this torch to turn on and if we go up here this torch there uh, comes up using vertical wiring and powers this line here so we know that if this line uh, powered here is on then we um, then all the uh, conveyor belts have been stopped and therefore we can check the scores now score checking is a um, was an interesting task to complete um, as you might remember in the teaser video the um, whole thing was a lot smaller uh, that's over there now I tried adding the score thing to that 
um, but I kind of got stuck so I made it a bit bigger so it's a bit clearer to myself and I might try and make this um, more compact later on um, but I'll show you the basic idea um, what it is is it's just checking whether the blocks here are solid or transparent now as there are two blocks we have to have uh, two different states we can't just have it if the block in front is um, there then you get your prize we're, we're determining whether it's a, uh, a diamond or a gold block so what I did for this is uh, create uh, two different uh, situations one if it's a diamond block then both of these lines here will allow the power all the way through because they will both power therefore this is an AND gate here powering this line, uh, line this torch to turn on now if we have gold let's try and get gold here oops reset okay we're going to have to wait for gold to come around as I said before it's a bit more difficult to get but with practice um, you can get it quite good there you go and ah oh, damn it uh, you'll see there if I got an incorrect uh, order none of the lights turn on I might set up a system to um, turn on a you know incorrect light or something but for now it works just fine it's all about just trying to get that timing just on that's what makes it a game oh, no. I'll turn flying off see if that helps there you go and, yeah, and there we go and then you see the gold light turns on perfect so with gold what we want is there to be a block at the front which is what we always want but we want the side one to be transparent so if it is transparent then this line will be off which means that it will allow, allow this torch to turn on therefore preventing the uh, diamond light to turn on but it is then inverted so that it is correct for the gold one now sometimes you do come into a problem where if you get a wrong combination and say this one is a diamond block then this will um, power as well and um, it can possibly disrupt the signal or like this if this block here is a diamond block and there's a block here it could pass on the message and then it could look like it is a gold block when actually it's not so what we have to do is we have to double check that it is a gold and the way we do this is checking that this line is off constantly and not just at the end so we use these torches to come up here and this is basically an OR gate it kind of looks like a multi input AND gate but because we've inverted these signals it basically becomes an OR gate meaning that it will turn on if there's any input at all so if there is an input it will turn on blocking off this uh, AND gate here meaning that the gold light doesn't turn on and nor would the uh, diamond light okay I hope you understood this again uh, s um, schematic is in the description for your benefit and yeah I hope to see you next time bye oh one last point uh, thank you so much for 600 subscribers I'm really happy um, I'm not going to do a special for it but um, I think uh, I know at least one person asked for a tutorial on the uh, TNT cannons I used in my 500 subscriber special so um, I will bring out a tutorial for that which will possibly be my 600 subscriber special yeah so uh, thank you once again and I hope to see you again bye